Here's an intro to the free 3D printable tablet mount for the Covey 450 Rally. All right. The new mount print has just finished. So here's the area where the tablet mount goes after removing the speedometer assembly, which just unplugs. Quite easy to take off and four screws. This piece will go in that place. So you line up those screw holes at the top, put this down here at the bottom, probably snap on one side first. This snaps on more firmly than I expected. There, it is snapped into place. That will not pop off there easily. In fact, to remove it, you probably want to take a screwdriver and just put it in behind this side right here and pop it off. That's going to be your best bet for removing it. But now you've got a firm, secure place to mount a tablet, possibly another GPS device below your speedometer assembly. Okay, so I used that as a pattern, made holes in my case, and installed these bolts from the inside out. Um, I just used like a number 10, 3 16 bolt. I use these uh, pressure riveting type bolts because they have a very flush head on the inside, uh, nothing to stick up against the back of the actual tablet. Those might be difficult to find, so you wanna find something with as small a head as possible not to press against the back of your tablet. Once your bolts are in place, your next step is just gonna be to slide the bracket over those bolts and install it with these small nuts. If you can get some with built-in washers, great. If not, you could use lock washers on it. So just tighten down these screws or these nuts and you'll be ready to put this on the bike. All right, taking a look from the other side, you'll see how this goes in place. This little support bracket right here on the side of it that snaps onto the center actually fits just above the USB, lines up with the screw holes at the top, and then you'll snap it in place. All right, here's what it looks like with it mounted up. Very nice fit. I did mount it a little bit down from the screen. This gives me room to get my finger in here to turn it on and off, adjust the volume, those kind of things. It also clears the handlebars and the front forks quite well. So you don't have anything smashing into it. And it's super secure. So I like this case a lot, which I'll provide the link to from Amazon. Uh, it looks pretty durable. Also, it has kind of a screen cover built in, and I think that's gonna allow us to use it even with gloves. Do all the features with gloves on. Looks like it works pretty nice. Also, you're able to plug in over here on the other side from your USB point. Plug the wire in here to the side of the tablet. So this is the Samsung Tab A7 Lite. Uh, it is not one of the rugged tablets, which I know they make some. If you'd like a rugged tablet, give it a try. You'll just have to find a way to mount it to that board. I think it's going to provide you a nice long mounting area here, though, for just about anything you want to mount up to it. I'm glad I can make this 3D file and share it with you guys for free. I'm new to the 3D printing world. It was designed in Onshape CAD online. I'll share a link to that as well, where you could go mess with the design if you wanted to. Uh, being new to the 3D printing, I just printed mine with PLA, which is not super UV resistant. You might want to print yours in ABS. Please like and subscribe.